experience here. I just wanted to give you a little quick list of things that I use or that I think would be helpful on your travels to London. London is basically like a less populated, more beautiful and historic New York. The feel there, the vibe really just reminds you of New York, but with an accent. The exchange rate for London is one British pound is equal to a dollar and 31 cents. So there's a little bit of change there. Make sure you pick the best place for you to exchange your money before you come, or if you want to do it while you're here, make sure you try to find a better place to do it. An Oyster card. An Oyster card is, I guess for United States purposes, it's like a Metro card. You use it to get around on the trains and the buses. To get an Oyster card, it's, to get an Oyster card, it's five pounds and then you have to pay additional money to be able to use that money to get around. Now, if you're going just to visit, if you don't wanna keep the Oyster card when you leave, you can like sell it back to them, but there does have to be less than 10 British pounds on the Oyster card in order for you to get that money back. If you have more than that, you do have to spend it or they won't be able to give you that money back, but Oyster cards do not expire. So if you intend to come back to London, you can use that same Oyster card to continue your travels. Contactless payments. Contactless payments are everywhere or just about everywhere here in London. Um, I barely took out my card when I got here from the hostel to taxis, cabs, buses, whatever you needed. I just used my Apple Watch to pay for things, which was really great considering. <laughs> so contactless, contactless payments are a big thing here. On your way here, before you or while you're booking your flight, make sure you check the bag weight limit for the airline that you are traveling on. A lot of domestic flights do not have the same bag limits as uh, international flights, and that's checking your weight limits for your check bag and your carry on, not just your check bag. Make sure you check the weight limits of both. What I used while booking my hostels, I used the app called Hostel World, and I did a lot of research on the area that I'm in and just looking at different hostels. Some key points that I used while choosing a hostel was, was there food around where I was gonna be staying? How close is it to public transportation? And also how close is it to the city centers where a lot of the things that I wanted to see would be? So those are three key points that if you are interested in staying in a hostel, which I would highly suggest, you would consider those three things while choosing a hostel. Also just looking at pictures to make sure that the ratings are good and that what people said about the hostel is good as well. One other thing that I did before my trip in general, so I did it for all the places that I will be going to, in Google Maps, after watching plenty of YouTube videos from other YouTubers, by the way, I do have a YouTuber called Jess. Her YouTube channel is Love and London, and I'll put her link down below. I watched all of her videos. She was very informative about everything that you would need to know about coming to London. So definitely subscribe to her channel, watch a couple of her videos if you're thinking about coming to London. But in Google Maps, I found places that I wanted to visit or that I would like to visit on my trip and I added them to a list in Google. So that way when I got here, I wouldn't have to worry about trying to find things. I could go straight to my list, get the address and get directions. Also in that list, it allows you to cross off things once you've been there. So it kind of allows you to keep track of things that you've done. And it's just nice in the end for you to see how much you've actually accomplished on your trip. And it's great because it gives you a different variety of things. It tells you how close it is to you, how far it is from you. So you can kind of see in different groupings and areas what's close and what's far so you know what you want to accomplish on different days. Well, that's the end of my quick list. Let's just get straight to the video. Here we go. I did my research, obviously not well enough, about finding out about the weight that I needed to have for, um, international baggage like going outside of the country because delta or most uh domestic flights it's 50 pounds now i knew it was cheaper for or i know it was less for um international flights and i was like well i'll just pay the extra for the um overweight bag i did not think about that your carry-on had to be a certain weight as well my carry-on did not meet that so not only do i have an overweight baggage fee but I have an uh, overweight carry-on, which now has to be checked. 
So now that's two fees that I have to pay. So your girl hooked me up. Um, I only paid for the additional bag. I didn't pay for the overweight fee. Um, probably because she could sense the desperation in my eyes. Um, this is horrible on my part. I know you all are going to be very disappointed in me, but we're not perfect. We're not perfect. I left my debit card at home. So I have my credit card. Now, the reason I wasn't too worried when I first realized that when I got to New York is because out of the country, I only intend to use my credit card because my debit card has fees that I'm not trying to pay. But I did not think about having to pay any fees in the United States, like in the airports or anything. So... And the money that I left on my credit card is strictly like for being out of the country. So I didn't want to spend it here. So luckily I have my cash app card. So I put money onto my cash app card and try to use the card. The card declined. I don't know why. Cash app, you need to work on that. So I asked her if I can just give her the numbers to my debit card. And she says, okay. So she runs it the first time, it declines. Now I'm a little starting to stress out. But not too much because I've learned from my Philippines trip that there's always another way. It may not be the way you want, but there's always another way. So I step off to the side, call US Bank. She says, tell her to try it again. I wait for two people to go by. She tries it again. It works. It goes through. So needless to say, don't forget your debit cards. Also, check the baggage weight for international flights. I'm slightly worried that this is going to be the issue through all of the countries that I have to go to. If that is the case, when I get to London, this load is going to be real light. I'm just saying. I'm not going with a lot of these clothes. So I will definitely check the rest of the um, the airline guidelines about carry-ons. Because some going to have to give. So now I'm walking around with a bag full of my clothes and my computer because I had to take it out of my check bag. And I'm trying to be sure that I didn't leave anything that I need and I carry on that is now checked. We'll see how this goes. I haven't even left the United States yet, you guys. Like, learn from my mistakes, please. definitely take a nap I'm hungry though so I'm going to I'm here at baggage claim so I'm gonna wait for my bags and try to find this train and then try to find where I'm staying um, so I'm looking at all of these different trains I don't see the one I'm supposed to get on so we're gonna figure it out eventually, sooner or later. Maybe by the time I do, it'll be out of peak time. <laughs> oh wait, I think I found it. Teams link, that's the one I'm going to, to Bedford. You guys, I found my first telephone. Look at it, I'm headed to the telephone. So like I said earlier, I'm staying at the Wombats Hostel and I guess I'll show you guys around. Um, it's check-in time, so we'll get that done. And I'll put a link down below if you guys just want to check it out on your own. To the fifth floor we have these key cards that open the doors 
My room is 504. This is me. So there's a door. There's six lockers. There's six beds. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a window, outside view. There's people's suitcases. I don't know whose shoes those are, but uh, them high. High, high heels. And then there's a sink. Ooh, lashes. I wonder who I'm rooming with. It's like college. We have a toilet here, shower, sink. Like it's really, where are the lights? Oh, they flip down. It's really nice in here. So, this is awesome. Hopefully all the other hostels are this nice. Um, I will show you guys around the rest of the building. I believe there are only five floors. Um, the basement floor, there is a bar. They serve breakfast every morning. Um, they have like common area lounge room. I think they have a game room. So four days, here we go. <laughs> Field market. Um, to see what kind of. There it goes. To see what kind of um, food we can get here. I'm trying to look for some good old fish and chips. Maybe some good photo ops. Um, and see what we got. fish and chips and I'm going to get the cotton chips it is 10 pounds 60 so I got my my money here and we're gonna get us some food After a great nap, um, I got to meet one of my roommates in the hostel that I'm staying in, Andra, and we decided to uh, take an excursion out here on the town. And now we are going to try to walk across. I think it's still open for people to walk across. We're gonna walk across and see what there is to do. I'm doing it again. 
see what there is to do on the other side. Let's check it out. Good morning, everybody. It is day two in London. I am getting a late start to leaving the hostel. Everyone else has left already, um, but I might be getting sick. I have no symptoms except for an achy body. So I kind of just wanted to relax a little bit before I run rampant today. Um, on the agenda, we're gonna take the underground to some stop and then catch a hop on hop off bus. We're gonna try to catch a few of them so we can get a lot done today because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And I'm not sure how far out I wanna venture in the rain. Not to say that I'm not prepared. I do have my umbrella and waterproof shoes, but you never know. So let's see how this goes. So I made it here to the underground station and we're going to take this to, um, where are we taking this to? find out together. I don't even know where I am. Let's look at this. Bloop. That's the map. Let's figure this out. So I've been standing here going through my phone trying to find where Westminster Abbey is. And I see on the map that I'm right next to Big Ben and I'm looking around, I'm like, I don't see it anywhere. Well, there it is. Big Ben's under construction. Um, I would take a picture, but it's just a clock surrounded in scaffolding. But you know, I'll do it anyways, just so you can see.
tried a sample of the immune boosting turmeric and apple. It's got ginger, honey, served hot and ready. I'm definitely gonna get a cup of that. But there's lots of other juices and it all smells lovely. What I'm seeing a lot of is lots of oysters and duck. Uh, people love their oysters. I wish that I kind of liked oysters because maybe I'd try it, but no, no thank you. Not right now. So this is the shard. It is the tallest building. I don't know if it's just in London. I'll have correct info on the screen. But at the very top, there's a restaurant and it has great views from up there. Now it is like 30 pounds to go inside. I don't know if you guys need to see it from up there because if you really want to see it, you'll come to London. So enjoy it from the bottom. Mm -hmm.